So for the hair growth aloe vera mask, you will need an aloe vera plant and a hair growth oil of your choice. But first, let me explain the benefits of the aloe vera for your hair. Aloe vera here in my country is known to help the hair grow faster and thicker because of its proteolytic enzymes. Now, aloe vera contains amino acid and protein, which are essential for hair growth, and it also helps strengthen your hair. It can also help cure any scalp conditions such as dandruff, eczema, psoriasis, itchiness in the scalp because of its anti-pruritic properties. It also has anti-inflammatory properties and it aids in conditioning the hair by retaining the moisture and water. So you can use any oil of your choice. For me, I'm going to be using grapeseed oil because it is very high in vitamin E. It also contains proteins, mineral, linoleic acid that are also needed in growing your hair long and healthy. It also helps improve blood circulation and this oil really penetrates into the scalp. This is also great for moisturizing your hair and it is hypoallergenic. This is also a good oil to use if you're dealing with dandruff. Now the color of the grapeseed oil may be a light gold color and sometimes it can also be light green. So what I'll do with the aloe vera is I'll peel off the thorny sides and then I'll cut it into small pieces and now in here you can simply use the aloe vera alone by just simply peeling off the first layer of the skin and then applying the gel part directly onto your scalp to use it leave it on your hair for 15 minutes and then wash it off or you could either make this hair mask so to make this hair mask I will be using aloe vera gel so I'll take the gel part from the skin because I'm only going to be using the gel and then in a blender I will place all of the aloe vera gel extract and then I'll add in my grapeseed oil. Now the proportion is totally up to you. You don't necessarily have to put a lot of oil because the whole emphasis here is in the aloe vera but for me I added in a lot of oil because it's my oiling hair day. And then I'm just going to simply blend everything and that's what it looks like after and then i will transfer that into my little travel lotion container and that's it now let's make our diy clarifying shampoo first i'll use the lemon because it can help get rid of the excess oil on your hair it can also help treat dandruff and itchy scalp and it can make your hair softer and smoother next is baking soda because baking soda can help clarify product buildup on your scalp and it also has natural cleaning agents and the next i'll be using honey because this can also help treat dandruff and it has antibacterial and antifungal properties and it can also help tame your hair and and it can naturally moisturize your hair and of course aloe vera because aloe vera helps balances the pH level of your scalp and it also has the ability to cleanse both your hair and scalp and lastly I'll be using water to dilute everything once again make the proportion according to your hair type with me I'm using one half cup of water one half teaspoon of baking soda one whole juice of the lemon, one teaspoon of honey, and of course, that much of the aloe vera gel. So now I'm simply going to dissolve the baking soda in the water, and then I'm going to add that in the blender, and then I'll start adding everything. And once that's done, I am going to blend it. So after that, it's going to look something like that. And also it may look frothy now, but as soon as the bubbles subside, it's going to look like that. So there is our hair mask and our clarifying shampoo. So now I'm going to use it on my hair. All right, so I'm going to use the aloe vera hair mask first. Now you can use your hands to apply it on your scalp and then just rub it in, or you can pump it directly on your scalp just like that. And also keep in mind, just focus on your scalp because since this is a hair growth mask, we should really center this onto the base where our hair grows. It is also good to work by sections on your scalp just so that you would really get every area of your head. So after that, as usual, I'm going to do a three minute scalp massage and then I'm going to let that stay on my hair for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, I'm going to wash my hair with water and then I'm going to use my DIY clarifying shampoo that we just made now I'm just using it like I would normally use a shampoo don't expect bubbles though because this is all natural so you won't really get any bubbles it was also a challenge filming this in my room because it was really hard filming in the bathroom so this is my close interpretation of how I apply this on my hair so after that I will leave that on my hair for a few seconds and then I'll wash it off also after this I just used my conditioner on the middle part of my hair down to the bottom part of my hair and then that's it and all I did here was I just air dried my hair and and I didn't really put any serums on my hair or whatever. It's just me showing you the end result of it. So I'm going to brush my hair now. And after this, I really feel that my scalp was really clean and my hair feels really soft and smooth as well. I also noticed that my hair was much more manageable. And by the way, if you leave the shampoo a little bit longer on your hair, it really makes your hair extra soft. So 
I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up I really appreciate it and love it when you guys thumbs up my videos because it just means that you like my videos and I will see you all in my next video which is tomorrow 